I think we are live here. Hello and hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. All right, so today's video is going to be fun. Okay, I don't know, by the way, how many of you right now make your own coffee water at home? Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section. You know, love to hear from you guys. And if you do, what is your recipe? Okay, I'm very curious about your recipe. So, uh, last couple of weeks, I've been making my own water at the shop here. So, uh, it's been fun. Okay, it's been, I'm really enjoying the, the process of making water. It's been fantastic. Okay, it's been really good. So, last time I showed you guys how to make water using, it's called 80 20 water. Okay, so 80 20 water. So, today I'm gonna be making coffee with, it's called holy water. All right. I don't know how pe uh, how they come up with the holy water, but uh, even simpler, even simpler than uh, eighty twenty water uh, recipe. So if you want to, if you want to get more information on the water recipe, I'm gonna put the link down below. Uh, the Brista Hustle website has uh, I mean all kinds of water recipes there. So make sure to check it out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So, and then only thing you need is a uh, filter water. So you want to be zero TDS as possible, okay? Zero TDS. And then, so let's go over the recipe. Uh, not the but ingredient, let's put it that way. So you, you need a Epsom salt. You need a calcium chloride, okay? Uh, you can get from Amazon as well. It's very, you know, it's not that expensive. I mean, all this stuff less than like 20 bucks. The fact is, you're gonna have for the rest of your life, pretty much. I mean, that you can make so much, so much water with. You know, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you what that means. And also, you need a uh, potassium bicarbonate, also known as the you know baking soda. That's it. Okay, but don't use the baking soda though. Okay, so you you wanna use this. And uh, what else do you need? That's it. Okay, so. So very simple. Uh, this is called holy water recipe. Extremely simple. It's gonna be 0.57 grams of salt. Okay, the uh, Epsom salt, and then 0.18 gram of baking soda. That's all it takes. And then we uh, we are going to use as one gallon of water there. So just one gallon of water, and baking soda and some salt. So I got my gallon ready to go here as well. All right, so let's make some coffee. Let, did I say coffee? Let's make some water. All right. Let's make some water. Again, this thing is an extremely simple process. It's tedious. Ah, one more thing. You need, okay, you need an accurate scale. Okay, you need a scale that Me, uh, measure to 100, uh, 100 grams from the zero. So you want like 0 0.00 instead of a 0, 0.0. So again, so this recipe requires 0.57 grams of salt, Epsom salt, and 0.18 grams of baking uh, soda. So this is a holy water. Uh, this one, I'm not uh, adding the calcium chloride. So it's going to be without the calcium. So we did try it with 80-20 last time. I thought it was good, okay? But the fact is, these waters is better than just plain filter water. Let's put it that way. All right, 0.57, okay? We are going to measure that 0.57. By the way, this thing is extremely sensitive, by the way. Just a little bit of wind. So check this out. I'm just going to shake like this. Little, a little bit of air, go through it, it changes. So again, so this is very sensitive. There we go. Point five seven. We are talking about point five seven. Okay. 
I'm just going to go slowly. 0 0.35, 0 0.39, there we go. So you want to be close as possible. Right now we are at 0.49. Point five two five four five five. Okay, I think we are pretty much. I'm just gonna tiny bit. Okay, five four. Again, you want to be close as possible. Hope we could change it to five six. Five six right now. There we go. Yeah. Again. This is closing up, okay? So whatever in there, I'm just gonna mix with the water right now. Okay, just gonna soak it in. Okay. You see that I spill a little bit? Just put it back in. All right, so next one we're gonna do this is as, uh, Epsom salt. And uh, we need 0.18 grams of bicarbonate. Again, uh, just let me know in the comment section how many of you actually make your own water at home? Okay. I'm very curious. Again, so this scale is very sensitive right now. I'm just going to reset it. Yeah, this thing is real. Again, that's why I say that this is a very tedious process. One, point one two. One three. There we go. Point one eight one nine. That's close enough. Okay. I'm just gonna mix with. That's it. Okay. So this should cover one gallon all right one gallon of water just make sure clean your spoon i'm just gonna mix it well ideally you want to use a nook warm water Just mix it. I mean, usually it takes about a few minutes to make this. It's not that hard to make. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna just make, make sure everything is all. Right. All the mineral is dissolved. I'm just gonna put it into my one gallon bottle. I'm just gonna shake it. gonna rinse it here one more time okay.
Okay, let's find out what kind of TDS we're going to get out of it. Okay, let's check the TDS. Okay. We're going to check the TDS here. Check the TDS of this new water we just create. It's about 116. I mean, that's pretty high. Yeah, I mean, for specialty water, I mean, that this is, hold on. They look like I'm low on battery there. Yes, uh, hold on a second here. Something's not right. Okay. Something's not right. I'm just gonna, it might be the dirty cup perhaps. If your cup is dirty, you can get the wrong reading. One or three, one thirteen. Huh, I wonder. <coughs> I'm going to shake it more. Let's try that. Again, zero TDS right now. About 70, hold on, 108. Go down to 108. Huh, let's see. You know, let's find out what's the, the standard of water. I'm very curious. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look it up right now on my computer to the side here. Holy re recipe TDS. Here we go. Okay, the seems like high. So I'm at the uh, Okay. Okay, I, I thought it was high, but uh, according to uh, the Barista Hustle website, they're shooting for TDS of a 150, right? TDS of a 150 right now. Uh, Hold on. I'm at a TDS of a 104 right now, 103, and earlier we saw like 117. So, I mean, once I mixed that one, because I bet you it's not mixed all the way properly. So, maybe that's why. But yeah, uh, according to Bristol Hustle website, you want to try to shoot for around 150 for the holy water recipe. So, yeah, interesting. Okay. Definitely interesting there. Uh, by the way, I mean, if you have the uh, coffee water recipe, yeah, let me know. Okay. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, you know, let's brew some coffee with it. Okay. Since we've got the water. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's brew some coffee. I'm going to shout out the DKs on live chat right now. Man, where is everybody this, uh, this afternoon? Yeah, I don't know. It's Friday too. I bet you most people are out and about. But you guys are here. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are here hanging out with us for a little bit. Again, uh, making waters are very simple. Okay? So this is an ex extremely simple process. It's not going to cost you anything. So, goodness, we got the, just the salt. Uh, depend on the recipe. 
potassium chloride and baking soda. Do not use, do not use a calcium chloride on your espresso machine. Uh, it's gonna build up lime scale. So you don't wanna use that, okay? You do not wanna use that. Uh, DK asks, you start with the distilled water? Uh, no, I mean, I used uh, pretty much filter water. So my starting point was about like about what uh, seven TDS seven or eight TDS, not zero, okay. Or uh, can you use any bottled water? No, you don't want to because you want to be a zero TDS possible. Obviously, you want to use a zero TDS. I mean, if you want the you know the accurate water recipe, but I mean, this the water costs you like buck twenty five. And I can get a pretty much almost a zero TDS for like 25 cents per gallon at my wa a local water station. It all depends on, but I mean, I'm not looking for perfect water, okay? I mean, still, this water is still better than just regular filter water. Let's put it that way. Anyway, so let's find out, okay? Let's find out uh, this water is any taste any good so uh, we're gonna brew some coffee here I'm just gonna add all the water we used earlier okay so we gotta so now we are gallons ready to go all right Should be about another about minute or so to get the water boil. Oh, let's pick out some coffee, guys. Okay. Let's pick out some coffee. Excuse me. We can try the Ethiopia. Uh, I tried it earlier today. It's pretty nice. Let's do 15, uh, let's do 13 gram recipe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we get the perfect water in UK. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Arizona. Uh, waters are really, really hard here. Extremely hard. So it's not the best. All right. Not the best in Arizona. I'm just going to get 13 gram recipe. And I'm going to be using my uh, P64 grinder. Okay, it's called Meisenberg. Yeah. I'm using Meisenberg. Okay. I'm gonna shout out the DK and we have a uh, Corti kit. Yeah. We got pH, yep. pH seven every time. Okay, here we go. Uh, water is almost ready. Yeah, here we go. Let's brew some coffee. I'm gonna shout out to Nick. Nick is just joining us now.
Again, this is the, it's called holy water recipe from, I believe this is the Bristol Hustle. All right. <clears throat> it's going to be two hundred gram pour within ten seconds. I'm going to wait about thirty five seconds there. I, I know some people like to use like wait about forty five. I know some people like to wait about a minute, but I think I like to be around 35 seconds to wait. And I'm going to do the, another circle pull. They go out to 200 gram. That's it. So a very simple technique uh, you can actually you can duplicate pretty easily so this is a coffee from the little wave coffee roaster blueberry lemonade and peach is their recipe as well uh, there are tasting notes blueberry lemonade and peach Brew timing should be around 2 minutes and 15 seconds. <clears throat> okay, they are dry down pretty nicely. We are getting very close. Yeah, it smells great, by the way. Uh, let's see here, look like 2.30, yeah. Two minutes and 30 seconds, brew time. Uh, we are using the Meisenberg from option O. 240. Okay, I think I'm gonna, let's call it at 240, uh, let's call it at 250. Okay. <clears throat> let's call it at 250. So it comes to flow rate is about one, uh, 1 1.2 gram per second. Okay. 1.2 gram per second for the uh, floor right there. All right. So again, uh, blueberry, peach, and lemonade as a tasting notes. So let's find out. Okay. And then we are using the, it's called holy water recipe. Uh, there's a lot of great resource on Brista Hustle website. Make sure to check it out. Okay. Make sure to check out their copy recipe. I'm just gonna stir it. All right, guys, cheers. Again, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. Oh man, look, I got a phone call coming in as well. Oh man, I can definitely smell the peach or the berry. Okay, here we go, cheers. Man, very subtle, uh, the lemonade finish. You know, very acidic, you know, like lemonade, but it's not like strong. Uh, definitely blueberry. The hint of peach after, followed by peach there. Okay, quite pleasant. Okay, not bad. Again, so this is the, uh, it's called holy water recipe. 
I think this is a, this water is kind of like made for espresso. I know a lot of people are using uh, this water as a, a espresso water, but obviously you can use it as a filter coffee too. And just make sure if you are planning on making your coffee water for your espresso machine, be careful. Okay, make sure to do your research on it, and uh, definitely not recommend calcium calcium deposit on your water because it's going to be lime scale on your boiler. So make sure be careful with that. And then uh, uh, just you know, again, I mean, if you are using the filter coffee, that's not a big deal. But if you are using as your espresso, make sure. Uh, check your manufacturer, you know, what not to do. Man, that re really good. Okay, so that, uh, definitely better than just regular filter water for sure. I know if you are using just regular filter water at home, I mean, adding just a just little bit, okay. Uh, again, there's plenty of uh, recipes out there. Make sure to check it out, okay. Make sure to check out the water recipes. Uh, you're going to have some fun with it. Hold on. We have a uh, heavy try San Francisco rainforest organic medium roast coffee from Costco. I have not. Okay, I, I have not. That is, yeah, that's interesting. Is that two pound bag? The Costco usually comes with a two pound bag, so yeah, it is a lot. It's a lot of coffee to drink. Let's see here. So this definitely, this is more like medium to light roast. Let's try. So coffee's cooled down a little bit. So let's see here. Man, very pleasant. Okay, very nicely balanced. It doesn't taste like coffee. It's more like nice tea. Yeah. Man, it's good. Okay. It's perfect. Perfect coffee for like day like this right now. It's about four o'clock, four p.m. on Friday afternoon. Again, I, I have you guys having a wonderful. Uh, make sure a thumbs up on this video. We've got twenty-three people watching this moment. I'm 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 glad you guys are here though. Okay. I mean, you could have gone out, went out tonight, hanging out. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are here, hanging out with us for a little bit. We have, uh, again, we're gonna shout out to DK, we got Corti, Nick, we got Jamar's on, we got MGS. Okay, that's a pretty long name, I have no idea. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's see here. I'll be, we gotta figure something out for maybe next week's schedule. I got some unboxing to do as well, uh, more comparison, okay? I mean, so far I'm really happy with the Meisenberg. I mean, that's, that's really fun, uh, really fun, fun birds to work with. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Anyway, I hope you guys having a wonderful Friday afternoon. I'm going to see you guys maybe tomorrow, okay?